what is going on guys tech agent here so i hope you guys enjoyed uh the intro so before i get on i'm gonna show you the files which i used i i made everything in illustrator and now i'm gonna bring it up in after effects now before we get on i just want to show you the original project now of course i'm not going to show you the entire process because that's just going to be lengthy and i cannot i cannot show everything uh you know in one video because it's, it's gonna take a long time about 30 minutes or something and nobody has 30 minutes to spend on after effects video unless it's your it's your job so i want to save everybody's time and that's what i'm doing so let's create a new composition i'm gonna name it youtube it's gonna be 19 20 10 80 and we're gonna keep the time up to eight seconds it's always nice to keep uh the time higher or longer higher that's a wrong word longer so that you know you can tinker with that in the future our new solid we're gonna make it uh, fully white because that is what we want now as i showed you the files previously in the video uh, in the starting we are gonna get only two of those because again as i said we are just gonna play with two objects this is the base as you guys saw that was a keyboard which i was uh, playing with so i'm gonna take its base it looks like a space bar but it's not it's the base <laughs> I'm gonna use the uh, pen tool to mask it out. As you guys saw the DPI settings, that is why. Uh, the reason I chose that is to get even more precise while dealing with that because my mouse uh, helps me get a really firm hand while editing stuff. I'm gonna come back to my normal DPI. Now, as you can see, we use the pen tool and now we have the object itself. So we can play with the object and you know do stuff with that. Now, the best part of this video is that the, that the background is white. So that means even if you're not precise with the pen tool, it's not a big deal because the uh, the background is white. Now this is the space bar. Uh, the same rule will apply. That is why the process is sped up. Uh, this is the space bar. It looks a bit different than the base, but it's the same in general. We're gonna use the same pen tool and mask ma mask it out so that we get a really fluid animation. Uh, now again, these two objects are 2D objects, and we can play around with those uh, two objects to get the effect which we saw in the intro. I'm just gonna place it above the the base. Now it's time to animate it. Now before we get onto the animation part, I just want to say that now, as you guys can see, the base will pop out from below the screen, and the the space bar will pop out from the the base itself. So we have to do some tinkering with that. Now it's physically impossible for us to get something from one place to another, so we have to play with uh, opacity. So what I'm gonna do is take my space bar's opacity, and uh, before I do that, I want to line up uh, line the position of the space bar uh, inside the base so that it's not visible while we're doing that and it saves us the time to set the position and everything so as you guys can see it is uh, hidden inside that uh, inside the base and we have changed the opacity to zero that means after the base's animation is done we can uh, use the keyboards or uh, the space bars animation without uh, without messing up so now i'm playing with the uh, with the position of the of the base because i want it to come from down with a smooth uh, animation so I've set my keyframe and I'm using easy ease to get a really fluid <clears throat> animation out of the uh, out of the base, the object itself. Now, as you guys can see, I made a small mistake not remembering the the name uh, the the number, so I have to position my my space bar again. Now, as you guys can see, the opacity and the position helps me to get the space bar out of the out of the block uh, out of the base without uh, coming uh, without taking it out uh, from the bottom of the bottom of the screen so which helps me get this fluid animation again easy ease and we get a really nice animation itself and, uh, which you guys can see now it's time to get the text I'm not if you guys are thinking which font is that I think it's uh, I just forgot the name you uh, you guys can see right there on, on the right hand side anyways uh, induction that's the name I'm, I just forgot so I'm gonna reposition that and just get it below the space bar so while it's animating it will be below it so it looks pretty nice again we're gonna play with the transform settings and uh, the position and we're gonna take it down and we're gonna set a keyframe so that it comes after the pull of the after the animations of uh, of that is done and uh, we'll be good to go now again when we want the text to come out when after the space bar has done its animation and again easy ease to get this fluid animation which we all like so you can see the text coming uh, out after the uh, space bar itself so that was a simple animation just to show you guys what you can do now this 
process is going to apply for a lot of things. Let's say you, you are in the creative team and you're using tablets, graphic designing tablets to do your stuff. So, you know, everything, the, the process, this process is, this, is the same and just this procedure is the same and you can be creative and do stuff. Again, I wanted to show how I got and uh, animated my logo. I'm using the pen tool and just masking my logo out and then I'll be duplicating it to get another one of that. Uh, and then using the rotating tool, I'll be rotating that and get my uh, traditional tech Asian logo animation. Uh, you saw the rotation animation in the, in, in this, in the screen there. So again, uh, this process is going to be the same. Uh, let's say you can use your DSLR in a white background and get a really nice effect and do the same thing, uh, in a, in a more intuitive way. I just wanted to show you the process because that's, that's, that's what I'm, that, that is the re main reason I'm making this video, not uh, just showing the process and you can use your brains to do other stuff anyways guys thanks for watching uh this was tech Asian. uh hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you next time yeah.